Rashad, you gotta be getting hungry at this point. I mean, I already, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't kind of hungry. But I'm on the cut right now, bro. I'm fat right now. I don't got no business eating nothing. I need to drink some fucking water is what I need to do. But I don't, I don't need to be eating none. Get you some Popeyes and Kool Aid. I'm not a Kool Aid fan. Nor am I a traditional fried chicken fan. The KFC Popeye, the the Popeyes biscuits are good. W racism, by the way. I see what you did there. Um, I'm not in the, I'm not into Kool Aid. Like if I were to drink Kool Aid, I can't put the whole packet. Like it's too sweet. I'm not really drinking juice. I'm just bringing, I'm just drinking sugar water. You know, like at a certain point in time, I'm not really like enjoying this. I'm just dying. Um, fried chicken, if it's wings, sure. But like actual like like traditional fried chicken, not not into that. I'll eat traditional fried chicken, but it has to be Caribbean fried chicken. I'm not eating with all due respect. Like I'm just I just I'm not eating American fried chicken. I'm just not doing it. It just doesn't taste good to me. Um KFC's breading tastes better, but like who's eating from K like bro, come on. Like I don't trust the KFC. Like I don't know what they're doing in there. Like I'm not trusting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Then they could be over there. They could be the ones cooking up the cats. What the fuck? <laughs> they could be the biggest fraud. We know KFC. They're the ones eating up the dogs and the cats. I mean, shit. I don't know what they got going on. The fact that KFC is still open to this day is beyond me. I don't know who's eating there, but they're loyal as fuck. Respect it. Um, Popeye's biscuits with no drink can be fatal. No, it can't. People exaggerate. If it, bro, KFC biscuits are way more dry. Popeye's biscuits are like buttery and like kind of oil, like kind of buttery and like a little greasy and soft. Bro, if you eat a KFC biscuit, you could die. You need you need you need the EMTs on standby if you're gonna order from KFC. You need to actually get in touch with the authorities to let them know that you're ordering from KFC before you even get there because you might die from that biscuit. Um. Churches is definitely sketchy. Yeah, it's not two thousand. It's not the two thousands anymore. Churches is super sketchy. Yeah, one time I got bro. One time when I was a little kid, I got an order from Churches, bro. The chicken was raw. Swear to God, the chicken was not even cooked, bro. The biscuits were finished, but the chicken was literally just. It was the batter was cooked, but the actual chicken just like rubbery and, and pink. Yeah, it was, it was, it, it, I, I went out bad. I ain't gonna lie, I went out sad. The F is regular fried chicken. Well, okay, so if, okay. I don't know how, so in the States, I'm not sure what, where fried chicken was invented. I heard it was invented in Scotland or whatever. But in the States, because we eat fried chicken way more than Europeans do, um, like American style fried chicken, I'm just not a fan. Now, in the Caribbean, in the Virgin Islands, and in Puerto Rico, they have their own style of fried chicken that I personally like. But I'm not eating KFC, my G, or Popeyes. I'm not doing it, okay? And I'm never... Go Let's just say I were to pick up some fried chicken from someone else. I'm for someone else. I One thing I'll never do is I'm never going to the register with fried chicken and watermelon on the same day. I have to buy them separate. I can't buy them together because I feel like the black register, like the black cashier, is gonna laugh at me. I I would if I was working as a cashier and a black person brought watermelon to fried chicken, I'm gonna laugh at them. I don't know about y'all, but I'm laughing. Like I'm not gonna be disrespectful about it, but I'm gonna laugh. It's yeah. In the islands, we don't put we don't put breading on our fried chicken. We we just season it and then just fry it. She said, stop. I'm serious. I'm not ordering. I'm not going to the store and buying fried chicken and watermelon together. I have to do it on two separate days. And if I were a cashier and someone brought both of them on the, like, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. It's funny. Like, I'm just not, I'm laughing. I am laughing. Okay. It's funny. Um, and I think, I feel like I would get laughed at. That's why I've never done it. I've never done it. I would never, ever, ever put both of those items on the fucking thing at this, on the same day. I'd have to pick up the watermelon one day and then the, the fried chicken the next day. But I've never eaten both together. I don't think a single black person has ever eaten both. What black person do y'all know that's eaten both together? 
I've never in life, like, it's a funny joke, but it's not even in real life. Like, who the fuck is eating that? Like, I've never seen white people eat raisins in their potato salad. I feel like some jokes are funny, but they're not rooted in reality. Never in my life. What if a white guy brought crackers and orange juice? It just, it, no, I wouldn't even notice that. Like, maybe if they bought, like, a bunch of crackers, I'd be like, ah, funny. But, nah. Like, it would have to be super noticeable. It tastes good together. I've never had them. I've never had them together. I've had them both separate, but I've never had them together. I feel like if it is good, everybody should eat it, though. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be limited to black people. Like, if it's verifiably proof, like, proven that fried chicken and watermelon taste good together, I feel like everybody should just fuck with it. Like, it shouldn't be restricted to just one group of people. I've seen the raisins before. I've never, I've never had white, I've never seen white people in the flesh eat raisins in their potato salad. Never seen it before. I feel like if it did happen, the white people wouldn't eat it. I feel like they just let it sit there. Like, you know those movies from like the 2000s where the husband comes down the stairs and just grabs a piece of toast, but there's like an entire like plate of pancakes and waffles and bacon and all that just sitting there. I don't believe for one second that white people are actually gonna, I feel like white people, look at the shit and just think who the fuck brought that we're just not gonna eat that i i just don't believe that white people would eat raisins and potato salad together i just i'm not believing it i'm not believing it i just i just can't believe it someone would have to show it to me in person but i'm not believing this is true i'm just not i'm not doing it bro i'm just not Not in the potato salad, but it's in the tuna salad? Bro, white people don't put that in the tuna salad. Y'all lying like a motherfucker, bro. Why have I never seen it on the menu anywhere? I've never seen that shit. Bro, I feel, are white people like ashamed of it and just do it around each other? Pineapple in mac and cheese? That's that drunk white people shit. I feel like when white people get drunk, they, they just mix shit together because it's it's illegal to do so. But I don't believe for one second that sober white people eat raisins in their potato salad. Because you've I've never been to a white restaurant and seen them do this shit in public. They have to be doing it behind closed doors. It can't be. It's, there's no way they're doing it in front of other races of people. It's Somehow it got leaked. But I've never seen them do it in front of anybody. So like I don't believe they're doing it. It had to have gotten leaked by a white person who's not loyal. You know? It can't be true. Pineapple pizza, I have to try that eventually. Are you out of line, Rashad? Well, I mean, somebody has to ask the question. I'm asking, do white people actually, I don't believe white people actually, I don't believe black people eat watermelon and chicken together. I think that's just a joke. I've never seen it happen, but some people are saying they've done it before. And I've never seen white people eat raisins in their potato salad. I'm just saying, if it's true, I'm open to the truth, but it just doesn't seem like reality. You know, I feel like, I feel like white people do it. I feel like white people go to outings and someone brings it and no one touches it because what the fuck is that? I just don't believe that, bro. Somebody said Google raisins and potato. Okay, fine. I don't believe. Ooh, what the fuck? What? I'm gonna give white people a pass, bro. I'm gonna give black people and the white people. I don't believe that we as black people actually fuck with the watermelon and fried chicken and the Kool Aid. That shit is a fucking lie. Like separately, but I don't know about together. 
Um, now, if somebody said fried chicken is sweet tea, I ain't gonna lie. You pro you've probably hit the, the, the... But, like, I just feel like these are exaggerated jokes. Bro, I'm seeing the pictures, and it's true. Some people, white women, have done it. They, they did it. But, you know, like, I bro, again, like I said, bro, white people had this weird thing about wasting food. In these movies, white people purpose, the husband comes down the stairs and purposefully just grabs a piece of toast and leaves that big ass breakfast on the table. White people have a food wasting, like, like, culture in film. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the raisins and the beds, bro. I don't, this might be like some posh white people shit. I feel like really, really like upper class white people do it, but there's no way like Southern country white folks. I can't see some like bumpkin who likes ribs and, and bis brisket eating this shit. It's not possible. There's no fucking way. There's no, this, this literally is not possible, bro. I'm not believing this is true. This shit don't even look legal. The FDA need to lock this up. This shouldn't be allowed to be like consumed by people. They put nuts in it, paws, with apple potato salad with apple craisins and walnuts. Bro, white people ain't been rich for too long, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This is because white people ain't had too much money for too long. That's all this is. I don't believe that in white people's heart of hearts they fuck with this. This is just what rich niggas do when they don't have enough when they, when they have too much time. This is not some real shit because there is no way white people down south fuck with this. There's, I just don't believe it. Y'all can't convince me that like, you know, the Bubba's and the Trevor's fuck with this. They don't. This is not possible. You know, there's just no fucking way. It's Midwestern. That might be some like like nordic shit maybe the nordic people in the midwest eat this bullshit but like this can't be no real nigga like this is not no real american food bro like we eat real shit this is not no real shit bro like come on bro here's two things i hold against white people bro this raisin and the potato salad shit and dubstep i don't know bro white people who bro to be fair most of y'all don't listen to it but what's with white bodybuilders and dubstep dubstep to me is like black people and drill music it's like what the fuck is we doing listening to this shit like what the fuck like, what is this genre <laughs> like like i feel like bro like dubstep for dubstep for what white people and dubstep is evil bro Black people in drill music, like, I don't know who the fuck gave the green light to these two genres, but I don't fuck with them. Cheese curds are good. I need to actually try that. I need to try cheese curds. I've never had those before. I just don't fuck with dubstep. Like, I just don't, you know? And it's like, it's only the white bodybuilders. Them the only niggas who fuck with it, bro. I swear to God, bro. They're the only ones, bro. I've never met another... I've never met a white person who actually fucks with that in person. I, that's not true. That is a damn lie. I actually do know someone who fucks with that music. That's a fucking lie. I do. I just forgot that I knew them. Nah, bro. Chat saying they fuck with, with, with dubstep. Dubstep is retarded, bro. Dubstep is weird. Whatever the fuck that bullshit is. They need to turn that shit off. Crazy, bro. Raisins and potato salad. I just can't believe, like, like I can't believe this shit, bro. Hold up, <sighs> fried chicken Kool Aid. They finna add. They finna. Google finna get mad at me. We all tried the Kool Aid fried chicken experiment. Y'all, what the fuck is this? They saying they got a Kool-Aid. Y'all see this right here next to the person with these with these braids? Kool-Aid fried chicken. Since y'all want to ask me about Kool-Aid and fried chicken, what in the fuck is this? Kool-Aid and fried chicken. Now, why the fuck they put watermelon in this? <laughs> Somebody thinks they're funny. House of Nashville Eats. 
very funny. They put watermelon right there next to it. They think that they think it's funny. I ate southern fried chicken, watermelon, waffle. Okay, bro. Here's something I don't fuck with. Why when you go to these restaurants, they barely give you any fucking syrup? Bro, what the fu- what am I doing? Now look at this, bro. What am I doing with this syrup? Who's eating with this syrup? How much? What am I supposed to cover? Let's just say I was crazy enough to put syrup on my chicken. I don't have enough. What about the waffles? Where's the butter? I got watermelon. I got parsley. It seems, but I don't have. It was I think that's parsley or some shit. I don't have any butter. So my waffles are tasteless. They probably taste like whatever you know waffle maker they were in. No butter. They're thick too, so the butter really can't really do no damage. Right? They need to put a melted cup of butter so I could like pour it on the waffles. That syrup ain't doing no damage, bro. The syrup ain't doing no damage, bro. It's not, it's not putting in no work. What kind of work could this syrup possibly put in? It can't put in no work for me. And then this watermelon, bro. It's There's barely any watermelon. Let's just say I was the type to eat fried chicken and watermelon together. You can't do none with this. It's a tiny ass little piece. And then this fried chicken, bro, this shit is white meat. Pause. This whole plate is a disaster. Selling me this shit, I'm sending this. I, okay, I'm not sending no shit. I'm not no Karen, but like, I'm about to regret. I'm about to eat this shit with regret in my heart. I'm about to eat this shit mad as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you sit there, you, t- you a kid and you mad as hell because the order didn't come out right. Like, you know, you crying and shit. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to be sitting there crying. I'm not into white meat with fried chicken, bro. Like, I'm just not. Like, I'm not, bro. I didn't grow up eating that, so I'm not really with it. It's a it's a cute plate, but I'm not eating food for aesthetics, bro. I'm eating food because it tastes good, bro. Like, I'll put, like, bro, I'll put my food on my plate in the ugliest way possible. As long as it's stacked, like, it just, it's just a bunch of food, I'm good. It don't need to be put pretty. Unless I'm like I'm sending it to like a to a woman or something to like show off how I can cook, like look at my cooking abilities, cause I can cook. You know, if I'm showing it off to like, I'll definitely pretty it up if I'm sending it to a woman. But if I'm just sitting there eating by myself, bro, I'm not putting, bro. I'm just stacking food on my plate. Believe that. White meat is yeah. White meat is. Tr- I'm not eating no bro. I'm not eating no breast, bro. I'm not eating white meat. It's just it's just not. What am I doing with that? What what am I doing with that? I'm not you you're not doing no type of damage, bro. You know? Yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm cooking, I'm not putting that shit on organized. I'm just bro, like I'm not paying for that meal. That shit we just looked at Bro, sometimes you know what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start letting my I'm, if I'm go, if I'm going out with people, I'm gonna let them order first and see what I'm dealing with. Cause I'm not about to just bust that. Cause that type of plate, they finna charge you thirty dollars for that plate. Thirty dollars or forty dollars for a plate like that. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. You go to one of those southern eateries, you get bro. You're paying child support just to eat. You're paying child support just to you're eat, you're paying light bills just to eat. I'm letting whoever I'm with order that first. You think I'm not, bro, not hell no. No, not doing it. No, 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 no. I'm not finna get scammed, bro. I'm not getting scammed. You're not finna make me pay child support payments for that, for chick, for dry ass waffles with no butter, a goddamn Chick-fil-A, them Chick-fil-A packet worth of syrup. Fuck is we talking about? I drank, I literally drank packets of syrup when I was nine, when I was 18. I just like drank three packets straight. I was in a dark, I was, I was, I was stuck in the army with a broken ankle. And I was like, bro, I have nothing better. I just literally just drank syrup out of the packets. <laughs> Swear to God. You can ask about the portion size when you order. You know, them waitresses and waiters for the scam your motherfucking ass. Well, it comes like this and then, you know. They dare to be like Trump. And it's like, it's like, it's like, and then you get this shit. You sitting there like, oh, no. 
Oh, and then you just sit there like, do you like it? And if you're a civilized individual, you sit there and say, yeah, I'm, I like it. When, you know, you obviously don't. If you're like a Karen or like, you know, a full power like Karen or a full power Shaniqua, obviously you finna turn up and let them know that you do not like this plate, but... I'm not finna get. I'm not finna get played. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get done up like that by no restaurant. Y'all niggas, you finna show me a picture of this shit. I feel like only real, real restaurants gonna show you what you order. And I hate restaurants where the menu just has words on it. Am I ordering words? Show me the food on the on the menu. When when's the last time y'all ordered words and received them on a plate? If I had a restaurant, I would want a hundred percent. Let me say Keisha, not Shaniqua's. That's too racist. Keisha. Y'all can't make a rule on how to spell Shaniqua because there's different ways to spell it. Um, Y'all ain't gonna lie. Karens and like black women who have no patience for the bullshit, basically white women, black women, no patience for the bullshit. They, bro, they'll report anything. Crimes. Bro. Like, I feel like 99% 99% of them be on point. It's just the 1% that people get mad at. But I feel like oftentimes when white women and black women get like bent out of shape about crazy ass customer service, some, they, they, be, they be kind of be telling the truth. It's just that other people don't want to say it, bro. <laughs> like white dudes and black dudes be sitting there like, oh, oh, what do I say? What do I say? They fucked up my order. What do I say? Hey, bro, I don't know what age it is when black women and, and, and white women hit that age or they just don't fuck with the bullshit, but they hit that age and they straighten up their back and they come up to the front. Excuse me. Black dudes and white dudes over there. My order's fucked up. I don't know what to do. My order's bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> just bitch made, bro. We're so fucked, bro. We need help, bro. <laughs> like, bro, like... We be sitting there just like bitched out, bro. And these women be ready to go to war, bro. And we're just sitting there. I don't know what to do. My order's fucked up. We're trying to avoid our food getting spat in. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'd be thinking about all the ways they're going to try to get their get back on me. I don't even be thinking about like, I'd just be like, but these motherfuckers are going to try to get me, bro. If I start talking crazy. um, That's why like if my order's ever fucked up, I just say, hey, you know what? You can keep it. Send it back. One of you guys can eat it. I'm good. Don't even worry about it. Cause I'm not gonna have. I'm not about to send my food back so y'all could fucking get sturdy on my plate and goddamn take your little fucking you know take the dust on your shoes and act like it's black pepper and then just serve it to me and I'm sitting there eating fucking you know Air Force One foliage. You got me fucked up. Black Air Force is just just sitting there eating it thinking it's black pepper. You ain't finna get me. You might get the Karens. You might get the Keishas. You ain't finna get me. Shit. We don't want a hearty serving of loogies. Yeah, we be scared as fuck. The The crazy thing is some of these Karens be complaining and them niggas do not spit in the food. They be getting away with it, bro. They be standing on business and they be they, they, they be riding off into the sunset. You know, if my order's effed up, I just don't ever go back. I go back and just hope for the best next time. Because, like, your, your order getting fucked up is one thing. Getting into an incident with the people there, you're fucked. It's over. It's over, bro. It's over. But sometimes, like, if you pay enough money, it is kind of like, damn, like, I can't let this shit slide. And then you're like, my future with this restaurant? My fucked up order. What do you pick? You know what I'm saying? Now, the Karens know the answer. The Keishas know the answer. They're not going to be, you're not going to play with them. I'd be sitting there trying to weigh the, what do I do? Which one do I do? I'd be scared as fuck. Yeah, I'd be scared to break up with my favorite restaurants, bro. I'd be sitting there like, I don't want to do this, man. I'd be sitting there like a... I'd just be sitting there bitch, mate. I worked in fast food and never saw anyone spit in food. We just talk shit. When, that sounds realistic. I feel like it's a small minority of people who really, like, hock tool in your food. But you just never want to risk it, you know? But, yeah. Most people in customer service, they just, like, you know, oh, this person's an asshole and call it a day. But, um, yeah, bro, I don't know, bro. JD Vance talking about fried chicken and, and, and curry got us sitting here talking about, like, being scared to get our orders corrected at restaurants. And I, and I maintain to this day, like, I'm just going to try to manifest good relationships with restaurants. I'm just going to sit there and manifest that. I'm not even about to bring. I'm just going to manifest it. 
you know, like the like the women say on the internet, I'm just gonna manifest. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna manifest. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to just stand behind my 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 woman, bro. Like if she complained about my order getting fucked up, I'm gonna just have to be like, yeah. Y'all know what it is. You fucked up my shit. You know what it is, nigga. There was a famous incident at a restaurant where a guy got docs for posting himself standing up. Yeah, bro, like, people like that really need to just get, like, locked the fuck up, bro. Then people need to go to prison, bro. Real talk. Uh, there were the people, like, around COVID time opening up ice cream and licking the shit. Like, putting bacteria in the ice cream. Like, oh, my God, bro. I remember back then I had to, like, open up the ice cream and investigate to see if, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like I was, like, looking at planets and shit, trying to see the geographical, like, trying to see, is that a canyon? Is that a mountain? I'm over here looking at the ice cream, looking for, like, lick marks and shit. These niggas crazy, bro. I was, like, I was working for, like, NASA and shit. I was looking for, like, all type of, like, geographical indentations in the ice cream and shit. They had, they had me, like, a real professional, bro. I remember that shit vividly, bro. She licked the ice cream and then put that shit back. Bold as fuck. P- proud. You know what I'm saying? I think she got locked up for that. Just get the ice cream with the safety seal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I forgot about that shit. I need to start... I try my best to look for stuff with safety shit in it. You know? Ariana Grande licking on the donut? That's crazy. I forgot about that. The, yeah, the internet, yeah, the Pope said the internet didn't make people shameless, just made it be, yeah, the internet just showed that the world is a crazy-ass place regardless, you know, unfortunately, these people have always been there, it, just back then, their friends couldn't record the bullshit, they would just laugh and run out of the store, but now they run out of the store after recording the evidence and posting it on TikTok for the police to, 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 to see, so, you know. What time is it? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I've been on here for a while. I'm not going to lie. Anybody play 2K25? I don't I don't play sports games. I just play strategy. I just play, like, like Paradox or, like, um, whatever. Um, all right, folks. I really do need to wrap up this stream and start clipping up whatever I need to clip up post it about maybe post one part of the stream tonight and then post the rest tomorrow then i feel like i want to do a pre-recorded video about the jd vance shit that needs talking about and the megan kelly shit so content all around but um yeah you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get wing stop you better it better